Hey everybody, Heart Tacticon is back, and I am bringing you the completed experimental project creating Nova Nemesis, who is a combination of Takara Grand Scourge and the SND Primo X Mortis upgrade kit for normally a Battlecore Optimus Prime. So let's take a closer look at it. Let me start out by saying this. This kit was an absolute nightmare to do, but I got it done. I had already done it once with the SD kit and the red and blue Combiner Wars Optimus Prime figure, and then I got a little experimental and combined a Takara, no, not Takara, Hasbro Motormaster with the SD kit to go with the actual Grand Scourge, making a different take on a big nemesis prime and then finally i had a takara grand scourge he had a little broken headpiece the head that flips out right here that was actually broken but i fixed it to where it worked as long as you were careful added some nova prime stickers to him and then decided it would be really cool to add the snd nova prime kit to that figure and man i was right this guy looks amazing like instead of all this being white, it's black along with the legs and the chest from the kit and the wings. And I mean, you can see right here, it just looks amazing. Freaking amazing. Let me go ahead and do a just gentle spin around. Now, as you can see, he's got both his scythe and his sword weapons. They're just both plugged in on either way of his fist. And he's also got his Grand Scourge gun right here. Grab him by the head and just do a little spin around. And here we have him from the back. Now as you can see, I got this sword with that through. And the reason why, and let me go ahead and do a little close up. Uh oh, <laughs> it's taking the background with him. All right, if you can see right here, there is a pin in that. Sorry for the weird crappy orange lighting. But I don't know what happened to it. Maybe it didn't come with one at all, but this one right here does not have a pin. But it stays in place pretty well, but you can undo it, therefore releasing the red sword that comes with Takara Grand Scourge, and then you just place it back. It uh, stays via friction. But yeah, this guy is amazing looking. Let's go ahead and remove his weapon so you can kind of get a better view of him. Here is his scythe, which can do this, make kind of like a machete-like sword. Or you can even do this, which, uh, I don't know. And then he has his normal PP yellow sword. And unlike the other two kits, you get a handle for both weapons. So he can wield them one in each hand if you choose, like that. Or you can have him holding them like I did, just by putting each one in one end of the fist for like a really long double-bladed scythe type weapon. So those are the two weapons that come with them. Of course, these pieces right here are removable. They're just standard 5mm plugs, little machine gun, Gatling gun, guns. Pretty cool. So you can angle them how you want. Oh, they, see, they kind of go like this. Woo. So you can shoot straight up or straight right angled, whatever. And since they're on a just a little friction peg, you move them around. So, heck, you can even point it at his own head here. Like that, make him kill himself. But we don't want to do that. And of course, he comes with the old Combiner Wars Optimus Prime double rifle weapon. So, between two different swords, a scythe, two guns that can be combined into one, and you can even, again, take these off, and I'm scooting them back, hold on. 
and take his little Gatling guns here and plug them into his whoop, his rifle for an even more complicated gun. So here he is minus his shoulder Gatling guns. Here he is minus his weapons. And he is a bad looking mofo. I mean, just awesome. Just freaking awesome. Now, I have seen a couple reviews of this figure. Not this figure, but the white Battlecore Optimus Prime combined with this kit. And there's a lot of stability issues. Mine, pretty stable. Look at that, see? Pretty stable. Now, the wings are really, really, really cool. Look at that. You can. They, they've got a ton of articulation. You can straighten them out like that. Or you can have them all spidery crab leggy. They can get really, really bent. Like that if you want some crazy spideriness. And of course they can move like straight up like that. Almost straight down however you want like that if you want so yeah lots of articulation in the wings he's got a completely new head the um, old head is under there and you can see this is actually where the normal combiner head would be but that's where you place that fi uh, head there's all this other junk Let's get the box open real quick, take a quick look at his combiner head, which I'm not going to install, and in fact, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this kit combined with that figure is such a pain to transform that I'm not going to do it on camera, but here's all the stuff you get left, there's the old combiner head, there's the thing you use to pull the pump or punch the pins out, a uh, piece of his back. The little flaps that go on his legs, his old feet, the old ratchets, uh, the <laughs> screwdriver that I broke, and some extra screws, and finally, the new, let me get it, combiner head, which as far as I can tell is the same exact combiner head as the one that comes with the normal Optimus Prime. So yeah, cool, huh? And what you would do is you just open it up like that. That little peg goes into the screw hole and you just clamp it on there. And you know, he's got like a new combiner head. So yeah, that's how that would work. But I'm not putting them in combined mode because this does not look good. It, it just does not. And it's, it's not recommended. He's not very stable in combined mode. The truck is a little silly because it's like a truck with Robo Angel wings. Let me let you look at the box real quick if you can see that right there. And that right there. There's one of the combined modes. And the other version of the combined mode. This one you use the wings as kind of like a side skirt. This one the wings are over your shoulders. There's a side. And some more pictures. Look. Flying Angel Truck, yay! And of course he comes with instructions that I didn't even open. See, they're still tape sealed shut. And he comes with a card, which I can feel from in here. It's a nice solid card. It's not like Planet X's card, which is like a very, very thin piece of cardboard. So from here, I'm just going to stop the video real quick so I can put the box up. All right, but here we are back again with what I'm calling Nova Nemesis. Now this guy, I am going to put up for sale because as cool as he is, um, this is more of a display piece, not so much a play with piece. And I'm about playing with my figures, guys. I like playing with them. I mean, what's the point in having a toy if you can't play with it a little bit, right? So this is just kind of a project that I wanted to do more for the experience. And plus, I'm not gonna miss 
Grand Scourge too much because I have a buttload of Scourges or Nemesis Primes or whatever you want to call them. Now, of course, the wings, you can just clamp them all, whoops, clamp them all together. These little bits, am I on camera? These little bits kind of clamp down. I mean, I really don't know what these little bits are for, but whatever. And you can actually unpeg that part. See right there where there's a little peg notch and fold them down almost like a flowing cape and you can even do it like whoa 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 I'm making it come off as you can see it goes over the little smokestacks and unlike the other two models this one is not super ridiculously tight but yeah you can even fold these back if you like which I think looks a little better. So now he's got kind of like a cape and now he's getting a little loose and unstable because of all that weight going in the back. Let me straighten his legs out, see if he'll stand for me. And he's gonna stand for it. He is gonna stand for it, which is cool. Now, one thing I don't like about this head sculpt is his little horn ears right here. I've got articulation, and I know that's more options and everything, but even though that kind of looks cool, um, it's kind of hard to get them perfectly lined up. But just so you know, here's a close-up of the head sculpt. Oh, that got dark, didn't it? It's a pretty basic head sculpt, but it does look very Nova Primey. Now, just so you know, the things were added, there's not much added to the arms. These are pretty basic bare bone arms, but we added some shoulder pads. Um, all of this is one piece, and then all this is one piece with a crotch. Uh, we got one piece here, one piece here. The feet are new pieces, and these pieces in the back, which actually just plug in I can go ahead and show you all real quick if I can. Get this out of the way and do it with this side. See? See where that five millimeter port is? Just plug it in right there. I say like it's easy. Uh, come on now. See, it's got some little notches in it. Just like that hole does. So let's see if we can get it back. There we go. So they got a little bit of flexibility and mobility articulation whatever you want to call it so very cool very awesome looking figure if I do say so myself let's get him back in awesome wing evil angel robot transformer prime mode that was a mouthful but yeah the wings super articulated makes them look really cool There we go. Now, like I said, this is a display piece. This is something you put in your detolf and just enjoy the heck out of and brag about how you have, <clears throat> excuse me, about how you have the best version of Nova Prime with some cool black arms, even though that's not super comic accurate. But yeah, the best version of Nova Prime out there. Better than MCCs, MMCs, Mastermind Creations. Way better in my opinion. With a butt ton of weapons. Flexible scythe and stuff. Yum. PP colored swords and all that. It is very, very cool. And like I showed you, I found a way to make all of the weapons storable on him even though it's a lot of weapons. So, um, that's all I can really say about this figure. Like I said, my version is much more stable. Hold on, let's get some uh, refocusing on here. There we go. 
Mine is much more stable than a lot of other reviewers. And fortunately, um, while there was some minor scuffage, especially trying to get the pins in, let's see if I can spot some here. No, not really. Can't really, guys. Yeah. I just had to do my best. And it, it just came out awesome. We're just going to leave it at that. This guy came out friggin' and then and, and awesome. He does have some very nice ankle tilts, and that does help with stability. Um, let's show off his weapons real quick. There he is holding the scythe. He is the harbinger of angelly robot death. This fist is a little tight on these swords and scythes. Even on this sword. But the gun fits in it fine. So yeah. Um, I will have a link right down in the description. Right down below. With a uh, the eBay number. The eBay item number. And if it's not there, that means he has been sold. But um, he is a little expensive because this is uh, Takara Grand Scourge is a pretty rare figure. The kit is a little expensive and it took a lot of work, a lot of, lot of nightmare work to get this guy going how he's supposed to. And like I said, you can turn him into a truck. You can put him in combination mode with whatever, whatever four limbs you want. You can get some cool custom limbs just for him if you know where they are. So yeah, um, check him out. He is an awesome figure. Uh, if you are pretty skilled in punching out pins and unscrewing stuff and you're confident in that, uh, go ahead and get the SND uh, figure kit and get a Battlecore Optimus Prime. He won't have black arms, but worst case scenario, just paint him. And then get the Nova Prime stickers because they really make things pop out. So... That has been the, what I call, Nova Nemesis figure, aka a Takar Grand Scourge combined with an SND Primo X Mortis figure. And I am Hard Tecticon, and I will see y'all next time.